So I want to tell you guys that I finally, finally, finally found a planner piece, sorta. Hey guys, welcome back to Sunday Refresh. All right, you guys, welcome back or welcome if you are new. Thanks for watching my video and joining us today on another edition of Sunday Refresh. This is something that I've been doing for a very long time. And so I thought that I would bring it to my channel because it really, really helps me. And so I was hoping that it will help motivate some of you. Today, oh, my house is a wreck, you guys. Like, we got back from vacation and my house is just a total wreck. So my husband went grocery shopping a little bit yesterday to get just a few things that we really needed. I, my mom's actually headed over to get me now because we're going to go to Sam's Club. I need to stock up on some meats. Um, so we're going to go do that. And then I probably will stop. Mm, I probably won't because she's going to pick me up. So I might jump in my car then when I get back after I unload everything and run to the store really quick for those like the few small things that I need on top of whatever I'm getting at Sam's Club. So the boys are outside playing. We got up this morning, we went to church. I came home, I was just editing my video that's going up at three o'clock today. Edited it yesterday, but I needed to finish it today. And made my meal plan, so I'll show you guys that really quick. I'm gonna give you a glimpse of my house. Do not judge me, it is a mess right now. I'm not gonna do too much cleaning today. My top priorities are to get the rest of our groceries, Make sure my video goes up today. Unpack from vacation and start laundry. So anything else that I get done outside of those few things is really a bonus for me today. I'm probably going to clean tomorrow um, and probably film a cleaning video tomorrow that will go up on Tuesday. Um, so well, when you're watching this, it would have went up five days ago. So we are going to show you what the house looks like. I'm going to show you what my meal plan looks like for this week. And then, like I said, my mom's going to pick me up. I'll try to film a little bit in Sam's Club. I'll show you our haul when we get back. And we are going to get ready to be ready for the week ahead. All right, guys. So seriously, real life, this, this is my house right now. This is... If you know me and watch my channel, my house never looks like this. And I don't have OCD. It's just everything in our house has a place. And it's really just because I didn't unpack it. Look at all this stuff that I need to unpack today. There are a few dishes in the sink. But overall, the house really isn't that bad. It's just a lot of stuff that needs to go back. So can't wait to get everything back in order so that I can start my week off on the right foot because you guys know how I am with routines. If I am not ready to start my week, I feel like it starts my week off very chaotic. So really excited to get my house back in order. If I have time today, I might film a cleaning video, but I highly doubt I will because we are going to my parents for dinner. So I just really doubt that we're going to have time to film a cleaning video. Maybe I'll do an after dark Clean with me tonight so I will um, try and remember to leave the video in the i cards here I'll stick um, an i card in here if you guys want to go back and watch whatever video I ended up filming I'll put that up there so you can see it all right guys so let me show you my meal plan all right so here's my meal plan for the week if you are new here you wouldn't know this but I use an Erin Condren petite meal planner for my meal planning I absolutely love it. So I'm doing eggs or a shake for breakfast this week. I am back on track, you guys. Back to working out tomorrow. Back to my um, lifestyle eating plan that I've been doing. Like, again, I keep saying that I'm going to share it. As soon as I hit milestone that I want to hit, I will go ahead and share that with you guys. Chicken and veggies, salad or leftovers for lunch. Tonight we are eating at my parents'. Tomorrow night we're going to have grilled pineapple chicken. When Tuesday, we're going to have chicken tacos. Wednesday is leftovers. Thursday is Tuscan garlic chicken. Friday is going to be burgers on the grill. And Saturday will probably be homemade pizza. So this is really my list. That's all I really need um, from Sam's Club. 
And then my meal prep strategy this week is to be flexible because I already can feel it. I am way off this week because we just got back from vacation. So that is my motto for this week, to be flexible. All right, you guys, my mom should be here any minute. I'm going to head out to Sam's Club, and I will catch up with you guys when I get back. love to get books at Sam's Club. It's, they're so cheap and there's so many books. Magazines. They have all these like learning things here. I think I'm going to come here next time I want my book. This one looks good. It's called Lies. You never told me. This is the book I'm currently reading. This is cheaper than I spent. $10.98. This one's only $6 guys. $9.00. Genuine fraud. I wonder what that's about. That's seven dollars. There's a lot of really good stuff. They had these really cute things, but they're too expensive. They're fifteen dollars. You put them together, the alphabet, Legos. There's so much stuff. But this cart is ridiculous. It's my mom's and my stuff, but it's so much stuff. Hey guys, I am back from Sam's Club. Um, I did take a little bit of footage, um, which you probably saw right before this. Uh, I'm going to turn around and show you guys what I got, and then i got to get it all put away. I need to get my video um, scheduled for today at 3 o'clock. It is now 1.40, and then I have to start laundry and unpack the bags for vacation. Oh, my hair is crazy today. So we're going to do all that. If I get all that done before we go to my mom's, I'll be happy because... And I can clean too. So this is everything that I got at Sam's Club. Just some tortilla chips, a pineapple. Oh, it just pricked me. Um, chicken breast tenderloins, a bag of broccoli, some light English muffins, nectarines, turkey lunch meat, some spinach, these Ritz crisp and thins that we've been eating, some shrimp. They had these pierogies. They're cheese and potato. They're um, like all natural. And they were on sale today. So I decided to try those. Chopped romaine. And I did get the Sara Lee Delightful. It, this is 45 calories a slice of bread. Some tomatoes. I got a watermelon. And I got these drinks. My husband likes to drink the ice drinks, and this whole case of 24 was only eight something. So it's cherry limeade, black cherry, and peach nectar. So I thought I would try that. These are the Premier Protein Shakes that I bought. They were on sale, um, which you saw in the clip before. Um, they were only 13 something for the entire case, and that is super cheap. So it's only like a dollar and pennies per premier protein shake um i use this as i can use this as coffee creamer too so when i do like iced coffee or can drink it and then a big bag of chicken nuggets for the kids and the fiji apples so that is everything that i got at sam's club for us my husband like i said did go shopping yesterday and he got um some other things our fridge still looks pretty bare well, it's getting filled again. There's like nothing in the veggie drawer. Um, he got some yogurts yesterday, um, oranges, grapes, milk for the kids, eggs, and I think that's pretty much it that he grabbed yesterday. But I'm going to get this stuff put away and then I am going to finish my video. Have this feeling, haven't felt for so long. Took a hold of me. Okay, you guys, video is scheduled. Thank goodness that is done. I'm gonna run downstairs to the basement and kind of see what the status is on my laundry. I know for a fact that my hamper upstairs in the bathroom is completely filled, so I at least need to get like one load started. We have 
this load here that's my husband's that's already done so I guess I'm gonna start this looks like it's a lot of towels though all right I think I'm gonna have to separate this out and then go get the hamper from upstairs because this isn't I don't think this is gonna be a full load and I definitely don't want to do half a load or a quarter of a load when we have so much laundry to do so I do want to show you guys I'm currently using the method um, in ginger mango and the beads I love them and I've been using them for quite a bit now I make sure no there's nothing in here we I have been using this in the past the thieves that I, I made this so sometimes I use that but I really like the smell of the ginger so I'm gonna get this thrown in there and see how far up it goes. Hey guys, I told you, laundry overload. This is what happens when I go on vacation and I didn't do laundry before I left. I was gone too long and the water started filling up so that looks like it's like really, really, really full when it's really not. So I'm gonna let that run. I'm gonna sort this out and get this the towels and stuff I always put in this laundry basket so we fill this laundry basket up upstairs and then I bring it down I put all the towels and blankets and sheets in this hamper and then all the clothes usually are only one load of laundry so then I will stick this in after that is done so I should be able to at least get this put into the dryer before we leave for my mom and then this way I can switch them when I come back again and then my laundry should be pretty good these blankets and towels I'll probably wait till tomorrow to do and I'll hang like the blankets on the line outside so since the kids are sleeping I can't really put anything away in their rooms but a lot of these bags are only half full or a quarter full so I'm going to sit down and I'm going to sort through them and put like all of my stuff in this bag and all of theirs in that bag. And then this way, the other bags I can just condense down so that I can take them upstairs. I can get rid of at least my stuff and then the kids stuff. Hopefully I can put to, to put away later today when we get home. Right, that is done so this is my bag for my room that is empty this is all the bathroom stuff and stuff that goes in the hall closet and then that is the stuff for the boys and now I can finally put away my seasonings I got at the store earlier we use this brown sugar I think I talked about this in the Sam's Club um, store but we use it all the time we get packets of it these grill made packets this is citrus Baja other oh, both citrus Baja so I did get this citrus and herb. You cannot see that. I don't know why it's not focusing. But I got that to try. And then I just got the bigger thing of the brown sugar bourbon because we get the packets and they're like a dollar a piece. And those were only three something. So I'm going to run that stuff down in the basement. This stuff needs to go in the freezer in the basement. And then I am going to take this stuff upstairs and try and get rid of it. So I wanted to tell you guys that I finally, finally, finally found a planner piece, sort of. So I found planner piece and I found exactly what I absolutely love to use for my family. So any kind of like 
bills and grocery meals and appointments and all of that stuff. So I am currently using a 2019-2020 Erin Condren hourly planner. It officially starts tomorrow. Yay! Absolutely love, love, love it. I need to go upstairs because I'm going to take my planner stuff to my parents' house with me when we go for dinner. Um, just in case like I have time to sit down and do a little bit of it. I really want to um, decide what I want to do for work. So I am not, well, you guys can let me know down in the comments what you guys do, but I am not a huge fan of using my work planner and my home planner in one. I just feel like there's never enough space for both and I have, I don't know, it just does not work. It doesn't work for my job, it doesn't work for me. So I repurposed a mom happy planner and kind of used washi tape over the headers and I think that might work, but I also have my recollections hourly that I was using, so I could use that instead. So uh, I think I'm gonna go on Pinterest and Instagram and look for some inspiration because I really can't decide what I wanna do. But I'm also super excited because I get to start my new daily planner tomorrow from Erin Condren. Oh, uh, you guys, I'm gonna show you my system because absolutely in love with my current planning system. So this is the mom planner from Happy Planner and I'll show you, I did like a trial run right before I went on vacation in here. Not this page, but this one, no, this one, yes. And I didn't really write too much in it, but I covered this up with like strip washi. And then this is gonna be like to do, I'm gonna leave to call slash email because I do do that. Um, and then here I can still put like my focuses for the week. So. I like this, but I could also use my recollections hourly. So let me go to July. So I could use this. I didn't do anything in the calendar yet. And then it's literally an hourly. So I could just keep lists or however I want to do that. So I'm really, really not sure what I'm going to be doing. But guys, it's here. Oh my gosh, I am so, 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 so excited. Okay. So I want to do a flip through really quick for you guys um, because this is how I set up my planner for this year and I just really love how it turned out. I'm still working on it. I still got to do this section and decide what I want to do here and for the monthly view and I'm waiting on a kit for the July month but I started my weekly and look how cute this is. I absolutely love, love, love it. Boxing out the day that I'm in the office, like the hours. It's just, I don't know. I, I feel like instead of using washi running straight down, it's just more functional. And I, I am definitely a functional planner. If you don't know me, then now you do. I am such a functional planner. So this is inspired by Happily a Housewife. Go check her channel out if you haven't. Absolutely love her for organization, um, ideas, and that's where I got all of these ideas from. So this is my meal planning page. This is just my tips for every week in a rut. Um, here's some more tips. And then this is our family favorites. I'm still working on this. Our winter favorites and our summer favorites so that when I am sitting down to do a meal plan, I can just flip over to this page and be like, oh, you know what? Yes, we haven't had pineapple chicken in a long time. Let's add that to the list this week. Because I feel like I'm constantly like, <laughs> I'm constantly in a rut. I never know what to make. I'm really good at meal planning but I never know what to make. So this is an easy weekly meal plan. This is for if I don't have time to meal plan, this is an ex this is a meal plan. I need to figure out what I would put for Saturday, but our staples that we get every week and then everything that we would need for the meal. So if I don't have time to meal plan, I could take this and then I can get everything at the store and not have to actually sit down and make a separate meal plan. This is my cleaning page, so do it daily, do it weekly, do it monthly, don't forget. Still filling all this in. This is going to be my weekly refresh page. I think this is going to be my AM and PM routines, and I'm still deciding for here. So let me know if you want me to do an entire video on my planner and how I set it up and what it looks like. I'd be more than happy to do that, but I'm absolutely in love with the way it looks. But let me get my petite planner, just in case you haven't seen it. I've yet. shown this quite a few times, so unless you are brand new to my channel, you probably have seen this before. 
This is my petite planner. So my daily goes in the front. Like I said, today was the last day in this one, so I need to switch this out. Um, this is how I set it up. So schedules, routines, um, mama's time out for YouTube, a running to-do list, and then kind of just like something I'm working on. Goals for this day was my water intake, Monday motivation. Um, sometimes I don't fill it out at all. New month, new goals. This is a monthly calendar. It is strictly for my YouTube planning. So when I plan my YouTube videos, which I need to do for this month yet. Um, so this was June. So there's that. This is our meal planning one, which I showed earlier in here and I show all the time. And then this, now that I finally have this, I'm transferring some of this into here and I'm also gonna do like my routines in here just so that everything like can go with me. So this is my planner, it stays at home and it's my, some people ask like, why would you use two planners? Why would you use an Erin Condren hourly and a petite planner? So this is my on the go planner. This goes with me everywhere. I carry it all around the house. I take it to work. I take it um, everywhere that I go. I take this planner pretty much. It has everything in it. This I sit out and plan on the weekend so that it's kind of like my week in advance. So I'll take this out every day, flip to my weekly spread, look at what needs to be done, and then transfer it daily into here. And then I also, um, I like to look at the monthly view in here. So it's this is really like my at-home Bible, so it helps me with everything. And then this is my on-the-go. So I quickly clear off the table. Hubby's carrying those bags upstairs so I can do that. I'm a, like a whack job. I probably should like just have a carry caddy that I carry through my house. But these are my planners, my current book I, books I'm reading. I don't know why. Like I can't just keep them in one place. They travel with me. So I did get all this done. Yay. So got to flip over that laundry before we go. Start the new load. Oh, you know what, you guys? I will not be doing that. Because, let's see if you caught what I did, but I threw my load of laundry in. I never put soap in there, and I just now realized it. So, I guess this is not clean. I'm going to be starting that again. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys, I cannot believe I did that. So, hopefully that gives you a good laugh. I cannot believe I just washed my clothes with no laundry soap. Please tell me that some of you have done that before and that it's not just me. So there's my laundry soap and fragrance booster. So now I will only, I'm not going to like, I probably won't have time to do my laundry later. Um, I watched Big Brother on Sunday nights, so I probably will just fold this while I watch Big Brother and then I'll do my rest of my laundry tomorrow. You go to my head Cause I know I'm dealing with the devil But I'm standing With my heart in your head And I'm too deep into in this gamble Hold me towards you And I cannot fight it Alright, all of that is put away I left out my workout clothes over there You can see on the dresser Because I am going to be working out tomorrow morning Tomorrow, you guys, I told you to ask me, let me flip this around. I told you to ask me and I would tell you if I was getting up in the morning and working out. The answer is no, still haven't done that. Um, I really, really want to. So I'm going to try again tomorrow getting up at, my alarm is going to be set for six o'clock in the morning. So I think I'm going to try 6 a.m. And then at least I have my workout in and I'm showered before I take the boys to school. I can work in my routine slash what I want to do in the morning later on when I can get up at like 5.45 or 5.30. So, unless I'm ambitious, I can set it for 5.30 and see what happens. But I'm just not a morning person. I really want to be. So, going to try it. Definitely setting my alarm for at least 6 o'clock tomorrow. Going to get up. Going to work out. And be ready for the day when I take my boys to school. So, I'm going to get that bag put away in the bathroom 
and then we are going to get ready to head to my parents house for dinner um and so that the boys can play so let me do that so that we can head out of here all right we are headed out to my parents for dinner i'll take you along a little bit over there i am leaving with a clean house i did end up getting the kids clothes put away as well so all the laundry or all of this stuff from vacation is now put away we are doing laundry i meal planned i got my video posted and we are in good shape dishes are done dishwasher's running so when i come back tonight i will probably empty that dishwasher switch the clothes over and i will fold the clothes while i watch big brother tonight when we get back As you can see, I changed, put my hair back. I almost forgot to end the video. I am so exhausted today, but got done what I wanted to, so that's a plus. Tomorrow, I will get this house cleaned up. There really isn't much to do. I would like to do the floors and vacuum the whole house and change all the sheets, um, but it really won't take that long. We did wash the bathrooms right before we left and we weren't home all week, so they're really clean. I just probably should wipe them down. So I hope this video gave you guys some motivation to get your week off to a great start. If you liked this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up before you go. Leave me a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe if you're new because we would absolutely love to have you as a part of our YouTube family. We will see you guys in our next one. Bye.